going to wait a few minutes for all of our friends to join us today. Good morning, everyone. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Good morning, everyone. Oh, so many to say good morning to. Good morning, Juliana. Good morning, Luke. Good morning, Simon. Good morning, Colin. Good morning, Broderick. Good morning, Sawyer. Good morning, Grayson. So many of you here to say hi and to sing with us and read a story today. That's great. We're gonna start with a song called Hello Everybody. Well, hello, everybody, can you wave hello? Wave hello, wave hello. Well, hello, everybody, can you wave hello? Wave hello. Well, hello, everybody, can you clap your hands? Clap your hands, clap your hands. Well, hello, everybody, can you clap your hands? Clap your hands hands. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Pat your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy. Rub your tummy. Well, hello, everybody. Can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy. Good job! Awesome. So, we're going to do things a little bit different this story time. We're going to start with her book, and then we're going to do a song that I really, really like. But we're going to read this book first. And this book, I really, really like. Awesome. So this is called Beep Beep Go to Sleep, and it's written by Todd Harpley. Three little robots, time for bed, time to dim your infrared. Brush your rotors round and round, clean your shields, and power down. Quiet at last, not a peep. Three little robots are beep, beep, beep. Is something wrong? I need my coil. My sensor aches. I want more oil. Better now? Then rest your head. Three little robots back to bed. Quiet at last, not a peep. Three little robots are beep, beep. What is it now? I need a light. My fan belt's loose, my bolt's too tight. Quiet at last, not a peep. Three little robots are beep, beep. Robots, are you still awake? And 
engines off, for goodness sake. No more beeping, no more talking, no more squeaking, no more squawking, no more blipping, blinking, blinking, winking, whirring, squinking, oinking, oinking. Go to sleep. Quiet at last, not a peep. Three little robots are beep, beep. What? Now, you need what? Oh, a bedtime story. Somewhere there are robots beeping, buzzing, bouncing, squawking, squeaking, blipping, bopping, blinking, boinking, winking, whirring, even oinking. But not these robots snuggle deep. They finally put their boy to sleep. The end. That was beep beep, go to sleep by Todd Tarpley. So we are going to sing a different song than we've done from before, but one that I really like. And it's a song by someone called Lori Berkner, who you might know, uh, called The Goldfish. And it's been a while since I sang this. so. Here's hoping. But we're gonna go swimming with the goldfish. Ready? All right. Lots of little fish were sleeping on a rock at the bottom of the ocean. They lifted up their heads and they shook out their tails and they said, let's go. Let's go swimming, let's go swimming, let's go swimming. Yeah, let's go swimming, let's go swimming, let's go swimming in the bottom of the ocean. Then the little fish got so very, very tired that they came back to the rock. They put down their head and they put down their tails and they took a little nap. And when they woke up, they were a little bit dirty. So they took a shower and they wash their hair and they wash their ears and they wash their tummies and they wash their very long fishy beards and they wash their noses and they wash their toeses and then they said, wait a minute, we're fish. We don't take showers. Let's go swimming, let's go swimming. Yeah, let's go swimming, let's go swimming, let's go swimming in the bottom of the ocean. Then the, <clears throat> then the little fish got so very, very tired that they came back to the rock. They put down their heads and they put down their tails and they took a little nap. And when they woke up, they decided to ride their bicycles. So they rode to the left, and they rode to the right, and they rode all day, and they rode all night, 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 and they rode downhill, and they rode faster so, and then they said, wait a minute, we're fish, we don't ride bicycles, let's go swimming, let's go swimming. At the bottom of the ocean. Then the little fish got so very, very tired that they came back to the rock. They put down their heads and they put down their tails and they took a little nap. And when they woke up, they decided to brush their teeth. So they got out their toothbrush and their toothpaste. brush our teeth. Let's go swimming, let's go swimming. Oh, let's go swimming, let's go swimming, let's go swimming in the bottom of the ocean. Let's go swimming, let's go swimming. Oh, let's go swimming, let's go swimming, let's go swimming in the bottom of the ocean. Oh. So that was 
a little bit of a different fish song than we usually sing, but it is one of my favorites. And we are now going to sing the elevator song, which I feel like we haven't done in a little while. So if you don't know the elevator song, when the elevator goes up, if you are an adult with a small child, you can pick the child up and down, and if you're a big kid, you can lift your arms up and down to be the elevator. Ready? Oh, the city is great, and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land, and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, and turn around. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down and turn around. Good job! All right, I think it's time to shake our sillies out. So, I shake out my sillies with my ukulele, but you can shake out your sillies with anything you want. If you have something that shakes and makes a lot of noise, you can use that. You can use a drum. You can use the table. You can dance around and use your arms and legs to shake your sillies out. Whatever you want to do. But I'm going to play ukulele. shaking your sillies out with that one and we are almost at the saddest part of story time which is the end of story time and I just want to remind everyone that if you're not signed up for summer reading and you're a Merrick School District resident you can go to merricklibrary.beanstack.org or you can go to our website merricklibrary.org and there'll be a link at the top and you can sign up for summer reading at any point during the whole summer and if you are signed up don't forget to log your books um, and your activities because um, we do raffles weekly and so you might get a call saying you want a raffle so, and if you aren't from Merrick, I would check out your home library because most of the libraries in uh, Nassau County are doing some form of virtual summer reading. So you can go to their website or you can give them a call if they're um, open for calls and find out what your library is doing for summer reading. So it's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Story time is done today. 
come again another day. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Story time is done today. Come again another day. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye everyone. Thank you for coming.